Hello, everyone. I'm Jiang Yifei from Huawei. Here, I'd like to present our work on applying hardware-assisted techniques to our virtualization framework. We named this work HLV. We first explain the background and the motivation of our work. Then, the HLV architecture is introduced. More details about HLV are described in the following three parts. Finally, we conclude our work and introduce our future work. The ever-increasing demand for high-performance computing in data centers has results in the dramatic development of various virtualization environments. Our virtualization is one of the most crucial components, which targets not only to optimize the utilization of physical resource, but also to enhance the I.O. performance. To elevate the I.O. virtualization overheads, hardware-assisted techniques are proposed to directly pass through excise physical I.O. devices, but then complicate the lab migration. Software techniques such as full emulated I.O. devices and per-virtual I.O. devices suffering from performance loss due to costly context switch between guest and host. Our work focus on the four emulated I.O. devices and uh, per-virtual I.O. devices. Why guests suffer performance loss while accessing emulated I.O. devices implemented in the user live QMA threads? Let's see the whole procedure. Firstly, to access four emulated I.O. devices, guests should trip out to QM and the QM will further transform our request to the user live by handling exceptions. Thus, context should switch from kernel to the user space. Then, QMA threads process our request and return processing our results. Context will switch back to QM. QM further returns back to guest through switching context. Finally, the guest resumes. As we can see from the whole procedure, costly context switch between host and guest exist and are unavailable in current software and hardware architecture. As for per-virtual I.O. devices, which are implemented using L thread based on what I front work. They are also costly context switches. The difference is that the guest trips out to QM and the QM send L event FD to blocking L threads. This is done by sending API to target CPU cores instead of handling exception in the same CPU cores. In target CPU core, kernel schedule wakes up the I/O thread to process I/O requests. After the processing, I/O thread sends interrupt back to guest to notify the compilation of I/O requests. Guest trip out again to get watch interrupt injected. Of course, this can be optimized by XLIS interrupt mechanism, but when guest say the I/O request, the overhangs caused by guest trapping cannot be avoided. Let's say the we host. The we host propose to 
elevate IO processing overhangs by adapting kernel threads, but overhangs caused by counter switch between guest and host still exist. Different, different from we host. We host the user, elevate IO overhangs via shared memory between guest and host. However, it prevents other threads from running on the polling CPU core when watch IO workloads become real, the CPU, the CPU utilization become lower. To elevate IO pass overhands in IO virtualization framework, as well as improving CPU utilization lower by poly mode, we introduced the HALV. Not that our techniques also target to avoid complicating the level migration. As mentioned before, when guests access four emulated IO devices, costly contact switch between guest and host reduce the performance. Thus, we propose the HALV to elevate the contact switch overhands. We do this by directly delegating exception from guest to host the user space by passing QM. More details will be described in the following slides. As for per virtual IO devices in kernel and user space, what IO and we host require the guest to trap out to send API or send IO type D to notify what I backend and we host backend respectively. Particularly, IO threads running in user space should be scheduled by corner. This is further cause overhands before processing IO request. To save the costly IO pass overhands, polling mode in which host user is used. It allows the guest to interact with user level IO drivers directly via shared memory between guest and host. However, polling threads prevent other threads running on the polling CPU cores, which lowers the CPU utilization. Here, we propose the HALV for one thing. What your event interrupt mechanism is introduced to allow guest to send interrupts without trapping out to QM. For another, user level interrupt handle, which is for handling virtual event interrupt, can be worked up quickly by hardware assisted context switch mechanism. From above, HALV can eliminate costly context switch between host and guest. The user level threads can be worked up quickly. Furthermore, through the combination of VI and HCS, the wasted polling CPU cores become free to run other threads. It can improve the CPU utilization. To validate our ideas, we implement a prototype on the RISC-V systems. In RISC-V architectures, privilege mode is defined as shown the, in the figure. figure. There are four privilege labs and two virtualization modes. Guest runs in virtualization mode and host runs in non-virtualization mode. An extension is proposed in RISC-V privilege architecture for adding user live interrupt and exception handler. Interrupts and exceptions can thus be delegated to user level. Hardware can transform control deliver, 
directly to user live trap handler without invoking the auto execution environment. To support HALV, we further extend the N extension with the ability to redirect the exception occurs in VS model or VU mode to U mode and uh, the ability to allow VS model or VU mode to be interrupted by the user level interrupts. Both emulated and uh, per virtual IO devices can benefit from HALV. Next, we are show the more details in following three parts. For emulated virtual IO devices such as UART, gas the trap out when accessing MML region. QM obtains the reason and the date of trap and further transform this information to the user space. QM tour or QMA process IO request according to this information. After that, control flow returns back to QM and further returns back to guest. As shown in the graph, which the support of hardware, a specific exception rest in guest can be directly redirect to host the user space by passing QM. User level exception handler first save the guest context. Also some function implemented in QM handle the exception. In our work, they they are moved to the host user space. Thus, procedure of obtain exception reason and the related data are moved to the host user space. Besides, when corner traps occur during the IO processing, new corner stack should be arranged to avoid blocking the existing corner stack. To directly redirect the exception from guest to the host user space, we extend the N extension. N extension is for adding user level exception and interrupt the handler. In extension, control state register such as your status, your structure, etc., are used as shown in the following tables. So, we no longer detain them here. Use live exception handler defined in an extension can only process exception in U mode. We here extend the N extension to be able to handle exception rest in the guest. First, we added a new CSR HUE delegate to allow exceptions rest in guest to be dele delegated. Recording the previous privilege live and the virtualization mode, control flow in guest can thus be redirected to user space. Also, the country flow should also be able to return to back to return back to guest from the host user space directly at that time. The U return instruction is extended with the semantic of a long return to VS mode or V mode from U mode. Further, to avoid abusing the U return instruction, a new field called HUR is added in H status. This can prevent normal threats, normal user threats to jump to any place in guest. This is because the returned address pointed by UEPC and U status 
can be changed without any restriction. Besides, two MMO page fault exceptions are added. Those exceptions will also be handled in host user space. When guests access specific MMO address of emulated IO devices by load or store instruction, corresponding exception will be raised. To implement this, a new field called MMO is added in PTE. When MMU access the PTE at the second stage translation and the MMO is saved in PTE, MMO page fault will be raised. To alleviate the performance improvement brought by HALV, we perform our experiments on RISC-V systems, which is running on the Hasselink Quimpon 920 CPU cores. The host is configured with four CPU and two gigabytes system memory. Where the guest is start up with one CPU and one gigabytes system memory, which is enough to perform our test. Due to the lack of standardized UART benchmark, we tested the performance of UART by outputting one kilo, 10 kilo, 50 kilo, 100 kilo lines of Hello World to the terminal. As we can see from the right finger, the output speed of HLV-based UART achieves near two times faster than the original one. Corner per virtual IO devices, such as we host the night, can also benefit from HALV. In extending method to accessing corner per virtual IO devices, guests should trip out to set notifications. In actual way, we propose the VI, which allows the guest set supervisor interrupt without tripping out. Host corner threads can thus be worked up quickly by eliminating the overhangs of context switch between host and guest. To allow guest to notify corner threads in the host, each corner thread for handling supervisor interrupts is paired to a physical virtual, virtual event interrupt, which is identified by the VIID. Guest only need to send the VI request number to the interrupt controller. Then the interrupt controller will transfer the VI request number to the VI ID. Then the mapping information is private by Kumar and host corner. Finally, each VI request number in a guest will be attached to a VI ID on the specific CPU core. More specifically, following steps will be performed to send and deliver supervisor VI. Firstly, guest sends VI by writing VI request to a new added CPU register. The register is allowed to access in guest. So there is no need for guest to trip in out. Then VID is obtained by VI model in CPU to further query the registered mapping information present in the interrupt controller. Finally, when the target CPU ID is found, a physical interrupt identified by VID is delivered to the host corner threads in target CPU. To show the advantage of HALV, we perform our test using the we host night. The experiment environment is the same to the one to 
to elevate the UART. Net perf is choosing as the benchmark to evaluate the performance of Wehost Night and HLA based Wehost Night. As we can see from the red fingers, bandwidth in TCP and UDP of Wehost Night can be improved by over 100% when message size are small. Finally, to improve CPU utilization, polling mode is replaced by virtual event interrupt and hardware assist context switch in our approach. In the polling mode, guests interact with user level IO devices via shared memory between guests and host. Water banking thus are implemented as polling threads, which still keep other threads running on the polling CPU cores. When IO request become real, this lowers the utilization of polling CPU cores. In actual way, guests interact with user level devices by using live virtual event interrupt. Guest is allowed to send user level VI without tripping out to QM. What a banked is implemented in user level interrupt handlers. It can be triggered by the VI. Instead of be scheduled of scheduled by the kernel, it can enhance the responsiveness. Hardware assisted context switch is thus extended in the CPU and interrupt controller for swapping the memory space and the data structure, data structure of user level interrupt handlers by passing the kernel. To support the user level interrupt, the suggest including uscratch utilector, SU scratch, and the SUATP should also be provided in the interrupt controller. Use scratch saves the user level data structure of the interrupt handler, where UT Victor stores the entry address of the interrupt handler. To achieve faster responsiveness when handling user level interrupts, request SU scratch and SUTP are extended. The request SU scratch is for saving the kernel data structure of the user level interrupt handler, where the SUTP is for saving the memory space of the user level interrupt handler. When a user level virtual event interrupt is sent by the guest, interrupt the controller creates the map information to find the VEI physical number. Also, registers mentioned above in the target CPU course are overwritten by the interrupt controller. Then the interrupt controller delivers the VEID to the target CPU course. When target CPU course handles the user level interrupt, hardware assisted context switch mechanism in CPU for the swap views in SU scratch SATP with the S scratch SATP. The critical context, including memory space and data structure of the interrupted user thread and the user level interrupt handlers are swept by the hardware assessed context switch. To handle the user live interrupts, corresponding software interrupt handler is proposed and it is architecture is shown in the red fingers. A user live interrupt handler is composed to is composed of an interrupt handler and a user user struct, user thread, both of which 
showing the same memory space and uh, kernel data structure. Which the interrupt handler is uh, triggered to run. Contacts are saved in it is user stack. The saved contacts will be restored when returned to the interrupted thread. During the execution of the interrupt handler from the view of kernel or CPU, the interrupted thread is still running and it is only regarded as interrupted instead of being scheduled out. This is done by showing the schedule information of the interrupted thread with the interrupt handler. However, the CPU core sometimes is not in the U mode, and this may postpone the handling of the user level interrupts. Thus, for one thing, the period of VS mode, VU mode is defined to be lower than the period of U mode. User level interrupts are able to interrupt the running guest by switching virtualization mode to non-virtualization mode. For another, if the target CPU core is in HS mode, for example, the idle task is running. A Adobe interrupt is rest to schedule user strides. Then the interrupt handle is triggered by the user level VI to run IO process by interrupting the user thread. Due to the lack of DBDK and SBDK support in RISC-V systems, we evaluate the user level VI using what I block. We use FIO benchmark to test the read, write, render read, and render write performance of guests on the basis of what I block and the actual way based on what I block. From the right fingers, we can see that actual way against the average. 20% performance improvement when message size are small. Also, the performance in vibration results we obtained are still unstable. We believe it is caused by the software humor emulate thus a FPGA-based platform that supports risk file virtualization is needed for faster validate the new ideas. In this talk, we propose the hardware assisted techniques for IO virtualization, including user level exception redirection, virtual event interrupt, and hardware assisted context switch. We name it a tray away. A tray away enhance performance of four emulated IO devices and the per virtual IO devices in both the kernel and the user space. Besides, it improved CPU utilization by freeing up polling CPU cores. There are some future work. The VMF querying hardware methods in current implementation prototypes is NVIDIA. So the latency of querying VMAP information deserves future optimization. Also, since with VI is attached to a physical CPU core, CPU affinity policies for VI should be provided for load balancing. Due to the operation on privilege registers such as UEPC and U status, may cost some security issues, much more work on enhancing the security of HAIW should be taken into consideration. Okay, this is all our work. Thank you.